And now for question number five from the October 2019 P1 International A-Level paper. Here we have a, an equation. The curve has an equation. Y equals x cubed over 6 plus 4 times root x minus 15, where x is greater than or equal to 0. Uh, we've got to find dy dx, giving the answer in its simplest form. So we have to differentiate this with respect to x. Before we differentiate it, we're going to get it ready for differentiation. Now, x cubed over 6 is fine, but things that are written in third form, like this 4 times root x, should be written in index form. So this is 4 times x to the power of a half. And you've got your minus 15. So dy dx, remember when you differentiate, you multiply by the power and uh, you take one from the power. So 3 times x squared over 6 plus a half times 4x to the power of minus a half. And a constant when you differentiate becomes 0. So you're taking one from the power, you're multiplying by the power and taking one from the power. So that gives us dy dx. That gives us a half, 3 over 6 is a half, a half x squared, a half times 4 is 2, so plus 2 x to the power of minus a half. That is dy dx, and that's the answer for this. If you wrote it further, it's not considered as wrong, but if you wrote this as 2 over root x, that would, you know, also be perfectly fine and in fact that's probably better if we have to go on to substitute values into the um, gradient function. This Remember when you differentiate it gives you the gradient function which leads us to part B and part B says the point P which is 4, 11, 4 for the x and 11 over 3 for the y lies on the curve. So this point lies on the original curve and the original curve is y equals x cubed over 6 x cubed over 6, I forgot what it was now, plus plus 4x, 4 root x minus 15, plus 4 root x minus 15. That's the original equation of the curve, and here we have the gradient function. Find the equation of the normal to the curve at P. Okay, so the equation of the normal, the normal is a straight line, okay, it's a straight line, okay, and the straight line, okay, um, it's the normal to a curve means it's perpendicular to the tangent of the curve. So just say, just say this is the tangent of the curve over here. Okay, let me draw this around it better. So just say that was a tangent to the curve. Okay, so the curve would go like this. The tangent has the same gradient of the curve at the point where they meet. Okay, just say it's over there. Over there. So the normal to the curve is a line which is perpendicular to the tangent to the curve. Okay, so for us to find the equation of the normal to the curve, we need to find the gradient of the normal and we need to know a point that's on the line. Right? To find the equation of a straight line, you need to have two things. You need to know its gradient and you need to know a point on the line. Well, of course, the point P okay, is on the curve and the normal passes through that point. So the point P is on the normal to the curve. So the point P, 4, 11 over 3 is a point on the curve and therefore on the normal to the curve at the point P. And now what we need to do is to find the gradient of the normal to the curve. Okay, so in order to do that we need to find the gradient of the curve at this point P. Okay, the gradient of the curve at the point P all right, will be like the gradient of the tangent to the curve at point P which is found by using the differential. When you substitute P equals 4 Sorry, when you substitute x equals 4 into the equation of the gradient, it will tell us the gradient of the curve at that point. The gradient function tells us the gradient of the curve at any point we want. So I want to find the gradient when x equals 4. That will give me the gradient of the tangent. So I have a half times 4 squared plus 2 over the square root of 4. I've just substituted it back into the gradient function. Okay, so that's going to give me a half times 16 plus 2 over 2 which is that's 8 plus 1 which is 9 so the gradient of the tangent is equal to 9 so therefore the gradient of the normal now the normal to the curve and the tangent are related by being negative reciprocals of each other okay so if I know the gradient of the tangent is 9 the gradient of the normal will be negative 1 over 9 
Okay, you take the tangent, gradient of the tangent, and you change its sign and you turn it upside down. So the gradient of the normal to the curve is minus one over nine. So now I can use um, my equation of a straight line, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And using that, I can find the equation of the normal to the curve. So I have y minus y1, which is 11 over three, equals m, which is um, minus one over nine, times x minus x1, which is four. Okay, now, in order to simplify this, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna multiply um, everything by nine, because we wanna have it in the form where a, b, a, x plus b, y plus equals zero, where a, b, and c are integers. So we need to basically um, leave everything as whole numbers. So I'm gonna multiply by nine, both sides of the equation to get rid of the denominators. Nine will cancel out all these fractions. So nine times y is nine y, and nine times 11 over three will give you 33. Because if you have nine times 11 over three, these cancel out, so you get 33. And I'm left with minus one on this side. If I multiply this side by nine, I'm left with minus one times x minus four, which is minus x and plus four. Okay, so now let me just uh, finish off over here. So now I'm going to bring everything to one side of the equation so that I'm left with, um, you know, the form that we want ax plus by plus equals zero. And it's generally better to keep the x term as a positive term. So I'll add x to both sides. That'll give me x plus 9y. And I'll take away 3 from both sides um, to leave me 0 on this side. So I'll have minus 33 minus 4, which is minus 37 equals 0. And there we have the answer to that part of the question. Okay, so there's the answer to question number 5, a and b. Okay.